Welcome to our lesson about the eDrawings Markup Tool. We can activate the Markup Tool by clicking on this tab. The Markup Tools can also be accessed from the Tools menu. Tools, Markup, and here is the list of available tools. Before we start, let's go to Comments, click on Options, and we're on the Markup tab. Under Comment Preferences, I'm going to enter my name. Let's say Joe Smith. That's not my real name, but I'm just typing that in here. And email address jsmith at corp.com. I can also put in my telephone number if I need to. And let's click OK. Now let's add a new comment. My name appears right here next to comment 1. Let's activate the dimension tool now and select the hole filter. Let's select this hole and this hole. Here I can make my comments. Let's say change to 29. And when you finished your comment, click the big green check mark OK. We can also modify the color and font size of our comments. Just right click and select properties. Choose a new color here. OK. And font size, let's say 12. OK. Apply our changes to current comment, all comments, or new comments. Let's use the current comment and OK. Down below, we can type a description. Let's say my text. Let's use a text with leader here. Chamfer, question mark, OK. And new comment. Let's try a cloud with a leader now. And click OK. Let's enter some text in the description field as well. If I select the first comment, it becomes visible in the graphic area as well as in the description area. Now let's select the second comment. Same thing, visible in the graphic area and description area. Let's click on the File menu. Select Save Markup. Choose which reviewers to save. I'll stick with All, OK. And let's accept the default name and click Save. To delete a comment, just right click on the comment and select Delete Comment. Now let's go to the File menu, select Open Markup. Let's open the document I just saved. Select it and click Open. eDrawings gives me a warning. An imported comment has got the same name as an existing comment. OK to rename the imported comment? Yes, it is. The reason to save your markup separately from the file is, let's say you've got a really big file and you don't want to email the file back and forth, you can just simply email the comments. I'm going to select Comment 1. Now let's click Reply. And I'll enter my reply here in the description field. When I'm done, I can save the markup file again and send back to the first reviewer. Let me cancel out of this window for now. This concludes our lesson about using the markup tools.